Hey everyone, okay, so today what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna talk you through a really inexpensive at-home peel that is within most people's budgets and does produce incredible results. So you're gonna need two products for this, and I actually prefer to use two. You can use one, but I get much better results from using the both. Now they're both from The Ordinary. The first product is of course the 30% AHA and 2% BHA. The second product, which you're gonna layer over, is from The Ordinary, and this is the salicylic acid 2% mask. You're also gonna to need to use some form of um, emollient after it, some form of moisturizer or serum, because you really wanna keep the skin hydrated after a peel. Now I've already done the peel and you'll see it as we go along. My skin is slightly flushed at the moment from the peel, but it calms down really, really quickly. Now the beauty of these products, not only is the price because they are incredibly affordable, really, really affordable products, but what's also really nice about them is that when you combine them with two, you get the emollients, which is really missing from the 30% and 2% salicylic acid blend. You see a lot of people have had great results with the Ordinary Peel, but a lot of people complain that they don't feel like it's doing anything, even though of course it is because it has a low pH and a high percentage of acid, so it is doing something. What makes it different from a lot of others that are similar on the market is it lacks any form of emollient. So when you rinse it off, your skin doesn't always automatically feel softer and fresher and all those kind of things that you get with a much higher end peel because they have that extra emolliency in it. The reason I combine these two is because you're getting the emolliency and some more exfoliating benefits from the mask, but you're getting that high level exfoliation from the peel itself. And when you combine the two, you get such nice results. When you wash it off, your skin feels amazing. So all you're gonna do with this is pop on the actual peel first, which is the bottle one, and just spread this all over the face. Make sure you get all areas. I'm obviously gonna miss out the beard area because for me, it just doesn't make sense to apply it to that area, plus my beard area gets irritated easily, so I avoid it. When you've got a nice layer on the skin and it's nice and kind of a reddy color, then apply the second product, which is the mask, and just wash that all over the face. Just apply it like you would a mask. And then all you're gonna do once you've done those two steps is leave it on the skin for up to 10 minutes. That is it. Once the 10 minutes is up, you just need to rinse your face this is where the other elements come in. You now want to apply emolliency. You want to apply moisturizers and serums to the skin. Make sure that they're non-irritating ones. What I mean by that is don't apply more acids or retinol products. Just use products that you know are gonna give you really good emolliency. For this one, since these were sent to me by PR, thank you so much, I'm gonna be using the SkinCeuticals Hyaluronic Acid and the BioEffect EGF Power Cream. I'm just gonna whack these all over my face and they're gonna feel absolutely heavenly. That is a real, I mean, other than the PR, really expensive products here. Other than that, this is a very inexpensive peel. It, they will last you a really long time. You can do this twice a week, have a nice time with it. If you're gonna do it twice a week, make sure that you're checking in on your skin and how it feels. These do have a low pH, but not super, super low. They're about 3.6, which is good. But check in on your skin and don't be doing crazy things like the next day really exfoliating it or using scrubs or cleansing brushes or anything like that. Try and avoid all those things and concentrate until the next peel on hydrating the skin and feeding it with nutrients that you know are gonna be beneficial to your skin. I receive and have received such good results with these products. The fact that they're so inexpensive is just a wonderful thing. What you saw here is actually the last peel that I'll be doing before I move up to much higher strength peels. And I'm gonna document the entire process for you. So this was my last peel with this and my skin feels ridiculously smooth and it's such a nice feeling. For me, peels and skin maintenance is about having healthy looking skin, not wrinkle free skin, healthy looking skin that just looks healthy and vibrant. And that's what this does. Thanks for watching, appreciate your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. All the links for UK and US are in the description bar. Thank you for your time. See you soon, bye bye.